Welcome back to the Dr. Think and Shine channel. Thank you for joining us, and I just want to thank each one of you for joining, for subscribing to the Dr. Think and Shine channel. And as you know, we have this channel, the Dr. Think and Shine channel, for um, parents and grandparents and youth leaders and those who want to see our children do their very best, their absolute best. And then we have a new channel, the Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School channel, which is a channel specifically for children. And I hope that that'll be a resource that they can play and, and read along and learn certain tips. So hope you'll share both channels with people you love. And what I want to say is thank you. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I certainly appreciate every view and every like and every subscription on this page, the Dr. Think and Shine page, and on the Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School page. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with that in mind, I'll share this on both channels. Lulu says thank you. It's good to show appreciation. This is from the Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School series. Lulu says thank you. Lulu was almost two years old. She was learning how to make complete sentences. Each day she would learn new words. Lulu's mother especially wanted her to learn the power words. She considered the power words to be words and phrases that show courtesy civility, kindness, respect, and good manners. When playing a game or taking turns in class, it is important to show respect to others. When Lulu is older, she will need these skills to get along better in the world. For example, if she is at the bank, she may have to wait in line. If she's at a restaurant, she will have to interact with a waiter or a waitress. Good manners and respect are in order at any age. To respect is to hold someone in high regard and to consider their feelings. Lulu's mother, Lala, wants her to respect all people, the young and the old, boys and girls, the principal and the custodian or janitor, the poor and the rich, the homeless and the homeowners, people who are differently able, people who look and live as she does and those who do not, police officers, judges and lawyers, as well as those who are arrested and incarcerated. Lala knows that Lulu will make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Even adults make mistakes. She simply wants her daughter to use power words like thank you when someone says or does something nice or when someone gives her something or says something complimentary. Lala wants Lulu to be grateful. She also wants her to be polite when she has to interrupt someone or excuse herself or belch or pass gas by using the power words, pardon me, or excuse me. <laughs> if she hurts someone's feelings or does, says, or writes something wrong, as we all do, Lulu can use the power words, I am sorry, or I apologize. Please is a power word which cannot be overlooked. Do you know when to use the power word? Dr. Thinkenshine thinks that it is very courteous to use please when you are asking for something or for permission to do something. Let's all try to learn from Lala's lessons to Lulu and always try to use power words like please, thank you, pardon me, excuse me, and I apologize or I am sorry. The world would be a better place if we all use power words and deeds. Lulu says thank you and Dr. Think and Shine says thank you. I thank you again for every view, every like, and every share, and every subscription 
on the Dr. Think and Shine channel and the Dr. Think and Shine Goes to School channel. Stay safe. God bless you. And until next time, the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you and give you peace, power, and love. More love. Boost. Lulu says thank you. And Dr. Think and Shine says thank you too. Until next time. See what power words you can use and look down in the comment section below and let me know what your favorite power words are. An entrepreneurial culture and in the meantime, I'd rather read. I'd rather be a nerd. I feel like Zuckerberg. Lulu and I feel like Zuckerberg because we'd rather read. We'd rather be a nerd.